this is Michelle Rosenberg again so here we are as you can see I am preparing the paper and I'm placing it properly on the board with a masking tape and today we're just gonna have to paint a picture in acrylic so always remember to always place a paper properly on your board and as you can see as well I have already sketched out lightly with a pencil uh, about the form and um, I already have uh, a sample of what I'm going to do and here is another technique that you always have to think first I place a wet paper and I put on a baking sheet and this is just an ordinary lunch box so there's a cover in it as we all know that acrylic painting dries so fast so it's good to have in mind to preserve the acrylic painting since they are quite expensive depending on their quality so it's good to have them and to you to use wet on wet i usually like to do that or also to preserve the painting so that i don't need to throw a lot it's kind of expensive to buy this kind of thing you know um but i enjoy painting so by the way this green is kind of funny name it's a first green <laughs> And this is primary yellow. Let's put it on the left side. So as you can see over here, the dark tones I already put on the right side so that I will have kind of control about the color tones and what I'm gonna use depending on the shadings of the painting. So there's a titanium white. It's a titanium white. Now here is the sketched ready uh, paper. Uh, so I am always using a ghetto on a paper. Prob I mean, you actually don't need to put a ghetto on a paper, but I'm used to it so I always put a gesso first before I paint and you can see on the right corner of the video there's a photo of this uh, Burnham Park in Baguio City and this is actually a beautiful place when I was little I always stopped by here and or mostly I don't say stop by I actually skipped the school just to go here and fish Actually, I don't find fish. It, were mo it was more tadpoles. <laughs> so, let's put on the basic color of the sky. As you can see, it, the color of the sky in the picture is not actually as so blue as we would portray. So, I don't need to put a lot of blue. I just have to mix it with a little bit of white. And we're gonna first start with the foreground since the sky is blue we'll just have to put on a little bit of blue yeah, I think I've said it twice now as you can see I have uh, blocked those green with a little bit of dark uh, dark green and I've already sketched out even the buildings from behind those trees so now i'm just gonna put on the green on the top of the block because the color block are the blocking colors as you can say they are the ones that would form the shadows that you see on the picture in that right corner and it's not easy to see the color green from the screen but when i'm painting i could see them clearly so 
just think they're not there, but you know, they're there. So now I'm gonna putting on the lighter green shadows to form a little bit of illusion where the green greeny trees are. And since the sunlight is on the left corner of the picture, so I have to imagine where to put on the shadows. They should be on the top of the trees. As you can see on the picture, I actually don't have to follow exactly the picture, but I still have to follow the shadows are so that the picture would create a little bit of more illusion, a little bit more realistic, you could say. So now as the color becomes lighter and lighter you could see that there's a lot more of yellow on my brush I'm just pressing it and now we're gonna start with the water so this is a tricky part with water because you actually don't know how to start to begin with but now as we could look on the picture they're kind of dark green you know so i have to paint this with quite a little bit of white maybe a little bit darker because the more you come closer the more it gets dark and the more further away the more lighter it gets so now i have the blue Again, as you can see from that picture, there's a shadow of green and there are blue as well. So let's just follow that color to stick with the foreground colors of the painting. Actually, it looks a little bit different, but you know, that's how it is in painting. So we're just gonna have a little bit of green to blend along with the blue ones and since acrylic colors dry so fast as I've said we just have to blend a little bit of green and blue together to mix up in between those colors so now we're just gonna start to color on the sketch over the boat Let's just color the, the roof of the boat, the first boat on the left, that's a little bit of blue, but I think my picture is reversed, so what I'm working now actually is the boat on the right side. now I'm um, paying attention again on the shadows in the middle of the boat So as you can see, I overlapped some of the spaces just to go through the dark shadows. Remember that when I was painting water color, I actually go first to the um, light part of the picture. But in regarding to this uh, painting, this is acrylic and it's the same even with oil. You have to start first with the shadow because those are the ones that will be a little bit lighter in a few minutes. So, as the dark shadows are finished on the other boat, I have to go on the next boat and cover all the tones that are quiet, dark, 
like the red ones of the boat so I'm gonna start now with the yellow tones as you look at the boat the only yellow part there are the wooden plank you know those are the bench that you sit on whenever you ride a boat so I'm not actually that perfectionist I just enjoy painting you know I used to be perfectionist but since I have learned to uh, calm down myself through the years I have actually learned to accept things as they are and since this is a painting this is actually an expressionism of your feelings or your thoughts or anything that you want to express on the painting you know you actually don't have to focus so much on the very very small details depending actually on how you paint but as for me I just want to uh, paint the photo on the right corner as per how I see it 
so now I just uh, covered it on the second layer of yellow because it's actually hard to see the plant with just one layer of yellow so I'm putting a little bit of white on on the top of it I mixed um, small drop of yellow and primary white or titanium white sorry so now I'm working on with the shadows of the roof I put a little bit of uh, green on it and then go on the shadows of the water I actually don't know why I do this sometimes but I think I enjoy it now mixing it again just a primary green, a little bit of blue, and very small drop of white.
put all the hooks of the boat and all the details that I think I'm done with that so I'm gonna go over to the shadows or to the highlights of the roof as you can see on the left corner of the roof of the, of the boat there's a little bit of white highlight from the sunlight so that's what I'm gonna work with and since the photo is reversed I'm so sorry life like that is unfair sometimes but you know actually it shouldn't be life like that about the, the pens or the brush that I have in front of me I have so many but I was not confused if you have a lot <laughs> <laughs> so I'm working on again on the highlights of the wooden sides and the wooden parts that holds the roofs of the boat because as you can see and notice there's no wooden foundation or wooden stand that holds them so we'll get we're just gonna work with them a little bit just a little bit dangerous I don't know if that's the right word for now but so long I can English you can understand me and that's fine that's fine <laughs> so I'm holding on with a um, detailed pencil
so now I have actually done a lot of shadows on the roof and even on the wooden holdings of the roof So I just also have to not forget the shadows of the wooden holdings. If we could imagine the sun rays shining through those uh, wooden sticks or wooden holdings, you know, then we have to paint the shadows behind it just to make an illusion again now I just have to put a white line on the edges of the park you know so by the way this is Burnham Park Burnham Park is officially known Burnham Park Reservation. It's a historic urban park located in downtown Baguio City, Philippines. It was actually designed by an American architect and Baguio City planner. His name is Daniel Burnham. So that's why it is named after him. And uh, it was actually has a larger plan in the 1905 so that's the history of Burnham Park now as you can see um, clearly you could see the the buildings from behind that is actually the SM you know the SM Baguio behind so if you get the time you go and visit Baguio City, you will actually experience the breeze and cool warmth, wind and the smells of the pine trees. So I'm gonna paint those small swan boat. I actually don't know how many they are but I just have to paint them. and. They are very very little whenever it's very far so the more they come closer the more they become bigger so I'm not so much into the details so who cares you know you just have to paint So now we're just gonna have to continue with the boat again that's roaming around the lake and um, never forget the shadows or the highlights as well from the roof since the sun is very strong in that picture so the roof also must have those white highlights over the head of that boat because I think that that boat is a dinosaur it resembles the dinosaur so have you ever seen a dinosaur swimming in the water it should probably be there in Baguio City so now there's a small boat because if it's a small boat there's also a big boat we have to paint that with the black because they are very very far and you cannot actually see the details of a boat whenever they are far from your eyes and don't forget the shadow of the white they are actually painted a little bit for far from the boat to create that illusion again you know illusions if you have a girlfriend I don't know if you've ever experienced that when you were a teenager, you had a um, crush.
crush and then when someone asks you do you have a girlfriend or do you have a boyfriend and you say yeah I have and then when someone else is asked do they know it um, no they don't <laughs> it's illusion <laughs> or like there are also some some women who say that I'm pregnant I'm pregnant and then you keep waiting you're so excited the baby's coming and then suddenly there were no babies because it was an illusion <laughs> so as you can see I'm working again with the sides of the water so you see every side is a quite green or quite dark and now we just have to work on with the lines you know those small spots that you see on the water so that's how we create it in painting um, those are actually the dimensions of the illusions so whenever you paint you just have to imagine where the shadows are and those are the things that you have to consider in a painting And since this dries so fast so you have to be quite um, quick in uh, thinking so actually there's a research as well about uh, painting so whenever you are looking or watching someone while painting you are actually relaxing your mind and yourself so while you are watching me, you are actually removing all the poisonous noise from your mind and you are giving yourself a relaxation. Although I know that my voice is not that relaxing, but you know, it helps you to calm down a little bit. And since that I am overdoing all these water shadows I changed my mind so I mix a little bit of white and a little bit of blue and I'm gonna cover them and it doesn't matter even if I cover them because the color will become lighter when it dries so it will create a stunning look by the way You know, art therapy is quite really, really good for everyone who are stressed. So I recommend that whenever you have time, try it. Don't be afraid. And you know what art therapy is actually used to heal um, to work on with yourself and it's to train you uh, to improve your emotional states you know if you have a lot of uh, problem with your anger with your depressive episodes and you have a lot of noises you know noises are those unnecessary thoughts that you have art is art and music is actually one of the best things that you can uh, probably work on with yourself but I recommend you to pray of course if you are a believer you pray meditate and then while thinking and while praying you can actually do the art if you just uh, paint um, or draw a guy like a stick it doesn't matter you know don't be afraid just do it 
So this is my technique in painting those kind of trees. I usually put them up and down. And then I use this detailed brush. I use the black color. And then I'm gonna use a fun brush actually to um, create those amazing leaves so I am using again a blocking color it's very very dark green and it's a funny color because the name is hookers green <laughs> I don't know I didn't made it up but the name is hookers green actually so that's it and we're just gonna have to paint it over those three branches and three stems and remember to give a little bit of space just like when you give a space to your boyfriend when he said to you that you're just gonna have a break and then he left you <laughs> kidding now I'm gonna have a little bit of yellow actually on my brush to create the highlights So, right on. Now, I'm so much thankful that you have been watching. I hope that you enjoy it. So please continue watching because I have a bonus track for you. Yeah, yeah. Hindi ako ang pinakamabait na tao na ginawa ng Diyos, pero minsan naiisip ko na may mga bagay talaga na nakakalimut ako na sa akin sa kanya. Ayun, naisip ko na gawin ito kata na to. Alam ko na akong mapagmamasan Wala ko na maging huwaran O tipo ng tao na karapat-dapat na tularan Matagay kitang hindi kinausap bulag-bulagan Manit pipit-pingin sa bawat isang kasalanan Araw-araw kong ginagawa ng di ko alintana Na habang sa iba ang turo ko laging maniwala Sa pangarap ako mismo daan-daan na nawawalan Matiwan sa tingin nila pero ako ay tao lang Nalilito, nagtatanong, nagtataka kung bakit Kahit tanim ko ay maganda bumabalik kay pangit Habang ako ay nag-aabot sa amin ay nagkakait Pero kito ako lumalaban kahit pa masakit Sabi nila inaangat mo ang binababa Pero bakit buhay pa rin kung sino ang masasama Na una mga mahalaga at mabubuti ako Ay gabayan mo sa mundong to bilang baluti dahil Masarili lamang ang hangad na madakma At ang pinakawala ng iba ka sasaklap sa lahat Handa ko itapon ang kahit ano para sa hinahangal Nakapangyarihan, influensya at katanyagan Teknolohiya ang may dulot ng gantong kasakiman Nakakabuti, oo pero lulong na rin ang tao Nilikha mo ang kaalaman, ako akong mabuso Aminado, uhaw kasing mapuri ng iba Sa kakabago yung sarili ko, hindi nakilala Sabay sa kung ano ang sukatan ng pangkalakatan Para maramdam ang parte ka ng mundong inaapakan Ganto ba? Di ba sabi mo pantayan, nilikha mo ganto ba? Ba't sa kulay ng pinapatay ang tao para sa nang pag-ulan? Kung ito ay kasasama mo, hindi yata dapat mundo ang magbago Dapat tayo pero ikaw
sa halong-halong kabuluhan krisis ito at pasakit na pinapasa natin sa isang hatang hindi lamang bilang isang bansa pero bilang isang buong mundo ngayon ang panahon na kahit iba-iba ang ating salita iba-iba ang ating pagkain din ng buhay iba-iba ang estilo paniniwala religyon Mayaman, mahirap Ngayon ang pinaka-importante panahon Para sa pagkulod-kulod Hindi para sa pera Hindi para sa gyera Hindi para sa kasigatan Pagangat Pagiging kilala Ito ang panahon Ito ang panahon Ito ang panahon